everyone and welcome to my very first knitting podcast. My name is Melissa and I'm the maker behind MB Makes on Instagram and now also on YouTube. I'm very excited to be uh, making my very first video. Um, I'm not really used to speaking to camera or speaking to a lot of people in general. Um, so I'm a little nervous. But in this first video, I want to show you my um, summer knits that I've made these last few months and um, show you what I'm currently working on, so my whips, and also um, talk a little bit about my knitting plans for this fall season. Because the weather is getting colder and I'm really excited to be knitting a lot more. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show is um, my cardigan that I'm wearing. Um, at the moment it's a bit warm because there's an um, alpaca in it. Um, but I, I wanted to show it. Um, so this is an easy cardigan uh, just made up of um, five um, simple panels. Uh, so knit uh, front and back. And then um, the sleeves separately, flat, um, and then yeah, sewn together. Um, I made this in just about two weeks uh, because I really wanted to wear this to my best friend's wedding, which was this weekend. Um, and so I finished finished it in time, uh, and I'm really happy because the evenings were quite chill, um, quite chilly. Uh, yeah, but uh, I will take this off now because it's getting really hot. So, for my summer knits I made uh, these last few months, I'm going to start with um, the first one I made, which is um, this tank top. It looks quite big. I, I think I made it a size too large. Um, but uh, it will be still nice to wear uh, with a t-shirt underneath this fall as more like a, a slipover. Um, I've used a free pattern uh, from Veritas, uh, which is a, a Belgian um, shop who sells um, knitting supplies and yarn, um, but also other accessories um, like scarves and stuff. Um, so it was a free pattern, you can find on their website. And I've knit this with um, Drops, Drops Cotton Merino in uh, this lovely green. Um, I really like the fabric it created. Um, it's maybe a bit uh, too warm for the, the hot summer days. Um, but it's, it's a nice piece for when it's not so hot. Um, and like I said, I, I think I can still wear this um, with a, a white t-shirt or something underneath to keep me a bit warmer. For um, my second summer knit, I knit the the seasons change top. Um, by uh, the knit stitch because I really liked the leaf stitch pattern on the back so it's this beautiful um, leaf stitch pattern like a lace pattern um, it's, it was my first time really doing um, large uh, lace uh, and I really liked it and in the front it's just a simple stockinette so it was um, a nice uh, piece to start um, uh, lace knitting uh, also the fabric is really nice for this I used um, drops um, linen the Drops Bell, which is a, a linen cotton mix. 
uh, in this really nice sagey green. Um, it was a really nice piece, although I think I could have sized down um, or, or maybe used smaller, smaller needles. Um, but as, the, as these are the first real um, summer knit projects I ever made, um, I think it, it's um, a good start and, and I learned a lot um, for next summer. And uh, for my third uh, summer piece, I participated in the test knit um, from Eleanor Ellis Knits on Instagram. And I made uh, the O3 rib cami. It's a, yeah, a ribbed cami uh, with 2x2 two two rib. Uh, for this, I also used um, the Drops Cotton Merino because it's really soft, um, a little bit warmer, so so not for the hottest summer days, but a perfect piece to wear um, maybe in the evening um, when it's a bit chillier, but you still want to wear something summery. Uh, this is also really nice to wear indoors. Um, yeah, I, I really like the fit of, uh, fit of this top. Um, the pattern is really uh, well written. Um, and this was my first uh, summer test knit. Um, not my first test knit ever because I have test knit a uh, sweater and socks before. But like for summer garments, as it's also only my, my third summer piece I knit. Um, I think it's really a beginner friendly pattern. Um, so go check that out, I will leave a link below. Um, and then on to um, my whips. Uh, the first whip I started um, already before summer, um, but I hadn't knit on it all summer because it's a fully mohair um, piece and it's the Souffle Tea by Penrose Knits. Uh, this is my progress so far. So I'm still on the yoke. <laughs> and I'm knitting this with the recommended yarn, which is uh, Lang Yarns Lace. And I'm using this really pretty teal blue. Um, it's a color that really suits me, I think. Um, and so I, I, um, I'm really looking forward to, to knitting on this piece and being able to wear it um, for the holiday season. Because I think it will take me a lot longer than other pieces because it's on small needles and the mohair. And it's, yeah, it's, it's taking me a long time to knit, but it, I'm really enjoying it. And I think it will be such a beautiful piece when it's finished. And then for uh, my next whip, it's also something I have guessed on um, before the summer, but I haven't worked on it all summer because it was too hot. Um, and so it's my uh, sweater number 18. I'm almost at the end of the body. I need to do a few more um, centimeters of the pattern and then uh, the ribbing. And then I need to pick up um, stitches for the collar and sleeves. But I, I have tried it on already and the fit is really nice. It's like chunky, oversized, cozy sweater. Um, so this will be perfect. Um, for when it gets colder um, and I can cozy up in it. And then on to um, my fall knitting plans. So, um, oh, one more thing uh, for the um, 
sweater number 80 by my favorite things knitwear i'm using a uh, filter um, phil tweedy it's an uh, acrylic and wool blend um, it's really nice and chunky uh, which i really liked um, it's not really expensive um, as i'm only uh, I've, I've only started knitting a year ago maybe um, so I, I starting with a bit less expensive yarn uh, but yeah the Lang yarn lace was a bit more expensive but it's a special piece I will wear on on um, special occasions um, but also I can also wear it for work so um, I splurged in that uh, but for this I, I wanted to um, by a more accessible yarn um, which will be yeah, more of like everyday wear a sweater um, so for uh, my fall knitting plans uh, first sweater I want to cast on is uh, the Chunky Dahlia by uh, Linné Holm Samsu um, and I I'm going to use uh, Drops Air in this lovely um, raspberry color. I don't have any um, pink or red knits uh, yet, so um, yeah, I was missing something pinkish in my wardrobe. And the Chunky Dahlia has been, um, the, the pattern has been in my library for yeah, maybe half uh, six months or, or more. Um, so it was really something I, I wanted to knit up, but yeah, it was too hot for summer. So um, this will be um, something I cast on uh, when I finish my sweater number 18. Um, I already started making a swatch, um, but I think this yarn will be perfect for it. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. Then I have another sweater quantity of Drops Air, um, but this is in this beautiful brown color. This really gave me um, fall vibes. So um, I wanted to cast something on with this yarn uh, this fall. And so I'll be making um, the Cloud Sweater by... Um, by uh, Colibri by Johanna. Um, it's like this lovely um, garter stitch sweater. Um, so I think it will be it will be a really simple piece um, that I will get a lot of wear out of. Um, and I don't have any brown or more neutral colored sweaters yet. That I, I that I made myself, um, so I, I think this will be a really nice piece to add to my wardrobe. And then um, my last um, knitting plan for this fall, um, well, not really last, but sweater plan. Um, will be the Augusta sweater, also by Colibri by Joanna um, in this lovely soft gratté yarn by Katja it's a... Uh, the camera doesn't pick the color up really nice it's this lovely green artichoke um, color uh, it's really fluffy and, and soft yarn um, there's no wool in it, um, so it'll be perfect for fall as, as um, the weather's not too cold here in Belgium. Um, and I, I think I will also wear this um, in the springtime. Uh, and so the Augusta sweater is a cabled sweater, which looks a lot like the uh, sweater number 14 or 15 from my favorite things knitwear. Um, but it has a more of a reglan construction um, which I, I like better for this 
Um, yeah. So those are my really um, sweater quantity uh, fall knitting plans. Um, further, I also um, like knitting socks. I've only started uh, knitting socks in January of this year. Um, so I'm still a new sock knitter. Uh, I've made a few simple vanilla sock pairs um, with um, basic self-striping yarn. But I, I'm dipping my toe in the hand-dyed sock yarn. Um, and so I have some knitting plans for that as well. First, like uh, a, a more of a whip still um, sock knitting plan. So these, these are the London Fox Socks. And I'm knitting this with um, Ginger and Thyme uh, hand-dyed yarn, hand-dyed sock yarn in the color periwi Periwinkle. Uh, I got this at the, um, the yarn sale. Your, uh, yarn, yarn sale. And I've made the first sock, but I just cast on my second one. Um, so I hope to finish these soon so I can start wearing them as they're shorty socks. They're still good to wear in the fall at home. Um, these, will, these are really soft and um, I can't wait to wear them. And I have this other lovely hand-dyed yarn, also by Ginger and Thyme. Uh, this is like the perfect fall color. Um, I don't know yet um, what pattern I will be making with this, uh, but these are definitely going, going to be my uh, fall socks. Um, I will make longer socks this time, because I've only mostly done shorty socks as it was uh, spring and summer um, but I want to make really long cozy socks maybe with some lace I'm still looking for a pattern for these so uh, that was all I wanted to share with you today I hope um, you liked um, this video. If you do, um, press the like button below. Maybe um, uh, share the video or comment. And subscribe if uh, you want to see uh, more of these videos in the future. I'll be planning to make these kind of videos maybe once uh, per two months or once a season. Uh, to show you each time um, what I made uh, last season and my plans for the upcoming season. Um, but maybe if you like these kind of videos, I will try and, and make something else also, like a knit and chat or something. Um, because I really like watching um, those as well. Um, and maybe to really end this podcast, I would like to give you a podcast recommendation um, because I like watching podcasts as well um, and uh, the podcast that actually inspired me the person that inspired me to start um, making my own uh, knitting podcast is uh, Delphine uh, by Just Delphine Knits on Instagram she also has a, her own podcast here on YouTube and um, yeah, thank you uh, Delphine for inspiring me and go check out her podcast. She, she has one in uh, Dutch and in English as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.